Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. I really appreciate you stopping by and of course, say it with me, you got here just in time. That's right, because it's Friday and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. And we have a theme for this edition of Friday's Finds. Blowing things up. That's right. Boom. Blowing things up. It's not what you think. Let's get to it. We've got several, several great items to unbox before we start playing with them. Item the first. This comes to us. I'm not sure who it comes to us from. We lost the, the little tab. This is the Atsenic, Atsenic, Atsenic car air pump. Now you see why I'm talking about blowing things up. This is a, I, I think you, you really, if you're, if you're driving a car and you don't have one of these in your car, you really should. All, all of my vehicles have an inflator. Cause you never know. This is a nice compact size though. I like that. The one I carry in my pickup is a little larger than that. That's not good. That's not getting us off to a really great start. with an instruction manual pretty simple plug it in turn it on has a light of course it plugs into your your cigarette lighter we have attachments for inflating Play stuff, toy, uh, pool accessories, and basketballs and footballs. first we'll take that around and we'll 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 deploy this but we're gonna move on to unboxing a few more items all right item the second this is the cosmic oh, this one is a sponsored item. <laughs> yeah, this one's sponsored. This one's not. I find myself working with a couple of, a number of different inflatable things. I have, of course I have bobber. Bobber takes a lot of air. In case you didn't know, Bobber's my, it, Bobber's my inflatable pontoon boot. Lots of crackly noise. So, as I was saying, I find myself having to do a lot of inflating. And so I decided to invest in a high flow pump for inflating things like my pontoon boat and some other items which we're going to see here in a little bit comes with a carry bag oh that's awesome we have a hose and lots of doohickeys
Now this isn't a, a, you can set the pressure on this unit. So if, if your item has a specific 10 PSI pressure, you can set this to 10 PSI. The one thing we need to do is power these up while we're doing the unboxing. Break out my my amp road. I love this. So we can set 15 psi. It'll go down to go way down. We reset. Okay, so we have PSI, bar, KPA. I don't know what that one is. PSI is what we're going to be working with. 17.5. <laughs> Whoa! All right, we know that works. We'll, we'll be using this in a little bit. You'll see why in a little bit. All right, check out this one. Sounds like it's pumping air to me. And we can set the pressure on that as well. Okay, moving right along. Our item number the third. This is from Ven2. This is also sponsored. Now, in case you don't know, I have a, I'm, I'm, I'd have an RV. I have a motor home. And that motor home requires the tires to be inflated to like 110 PSI. And so this will do it, but it'll take forever and it'll burn out the pump. That's where the Van 2 comes into play. This is designed for the bigger tire. I said van, it's yam, yam tu, yam tu, with a Y. Carry bag, instruction manual. Let's look at this bad boy right here. We're blowing things up. We got, what, about 20 feet of hose? Flip up handle. And because this runs hotter, you're not going to connect this to your, you're not going to plug this into the, the cigarette lighter. You're going to put that directly on the battery. on off switch and a fuse all right i really like the way that's designed instead of having the switch and the electronics on there that's on here my, my neighbor's working on his car in case you're wondering about that background noise what do we have in here Inline pressure gauge. That actually screws on. And then that connects there. That might pose an issue on the motorhome. We'll have to go and take a look at that. So. Now we move on to the item number the fourth. A few weeks ago, we opened a big box. Well, was it two weeks ago? I don't remember, a few weeks back. We opened a big box and then it was, uh, was a tent. Well, <laughs> they've come out with a new version. Same company. This is, this is, <laughs> it's called Island of Fish, the roof tent, Island of Fish. 
Okay. Let's see what it looks like. It's a bit heavy. Which is why it's on casters. Okay, so this is the PE mat. It's your ground cloth. It keeps it from being punctured. That's different. This is all different than the last one we opened. Well, now that's handy. Ha, I like that. In case we have a leak, we have our air pump, owner's manual, Island of Fish series. Straps in here. I think those are window canopies. I'm gonna look at this book real quick. I'll be back. I'm really excited now, now that I, I read the book. So we're, we're going to set this up. <clears throat> so we have the ladder. pegs.
So there's our tent. Now we need a few more accessories installed. So the, the pressure is eight PSI if you're setting it on the ground. If, when we put it on top of the roof, we're gonna want the floor to be at 12 PSI. So let me put the rest of the stuff on here and I'll cut back in. A very notable improvement over the first generation. I really like this tent. I like this tent a lot. So we have it, if you're just pitching it on the ground, you're good. You might want to have, you know, a rain canopy or something. But this is a waterproof cotton duct material. You wouldn't need to put the rain flies window and door flies up if you're just on the ground. But once you get up on the on the roof, you would want to have your doors, door canopies in place. You've got plenty of ventilation, windows on all four walls. This one unzips, so if you're up on the roof, you can stand up. If it's raining, you can zip this closed. And you've got stiff legs here to kind of hold that open so you get a little air ventilation, a little upper ventilation. Vents above both doors. One thing that I noticed that is different, another thing that I noticed that's different is the chambers are connected. So as you're inflating this one, you're inflating this one, and then you can just close that off. I really like this tent. You don't have to take a mattress with you. It's got one built in. That's what I like the most about it. Now we need to just we just need to put it up on the car. So I, I made a misstatement. There's not there's not a, an opening on all four walls. There's not one here. So we're set up. We're strapped to the wheels so that and we got a pretty good wind blowing. Now there's additional straps that go under here. I didn't put them on. Remember 12 psi. 8 psi now there is a pressure relief right there so you really can't over inflate the bottom and there we go the rain canopies are are set up much better than version one a little less labor intensive, a little, little less work. Let's go inside. I'm six foot two and I have plenty of room to spread out. We got a pretty stiff wind blowing and the, there is no movement. Occasionally one of those wheel straps will start to sing. I chose not to put the canopy on this side so that you could get a feel for what that looks like without it you certainly have a better better view better perspective this would be awesome for camping on the beach You'd be up off the sand you wouldn't have to worry about so much of the sand blowing in on you if you're worried about bears that's a good one 
Worried about snakes and creepy crawlies? Yeah, this is a great place to be. Now this is this is not a permanently mounted on the roof tent, just so you know. This is, you, you set it up and you take it down. And that's, that has some advantages and it has some disadvantages. Uh, one of the advantages is you can use this tent on the ground, even on the water. They show a, a video on the Amazon listing of, of uh, some guys paddling this. I, I, I don't know if you want to do that with it, but it might be cool to put it out on a cove in the lake or something and, and spend the night out there floating on the waves. You're going to have an issue with water because you don't have a dry deck to come in. But it'll dry out. Uh, you also don't, as I mentioned, you don't have to worry about critters, big predators so much. You're up off the ground pretty high. Um, you, you're not going to have, since it's not permanently mounted on the roof, it's not going to kill your gas mileage, which those, those roof mount tents, they really uh, put a lot of wind drag on the vehicle and, and you lose your gas mileage. Uh, it's less, it's less work to set up this tent than it is a typical tent because you're just basically inflating it. That is heavy because it's a canvas material, which is good because that makes it a little, it makes it way more weather resistant. Trudy Thunder, we gotta, we gotta try out this, this big old air compressor. I've got it threaded on. This is not a, this is, you thread this on. And we're looking at 90 PSI. So I don't really need to add, I, I typically run about 90 PSI. But, we'll turn it on. <laughs> Boom, and just that fast. We're at 95 PSI. I like that. That's, that's gonna be really, that's a lifesaver to have on board. I also have tire plug kits because you never know when you're going to pick up a screw or a nail or something. And if you're stranded on the side of the road, if you're on the Dalton Highway or the top of the world highway, like the winds, gone with the winds, they picked up a screw out in the middle of nowhere. Fortunately, they had a, a air compressor and a tire plug kit with them. That'll at least get you back into safety. That'll at least get you down the road. All right, now we need to go put an air compressor on the, the car. But I like that. Yes, indeed. I, I, and I know you'll like that air compressor too. That's, that's a good piece of kit. All right, let's go. Let's go inflate a car tire. So it's not exactly the fastest pump that that I work with, but it's small enough to fit in the glove box or under the seat or in the seat pocket. We've been running about 15 minutes. We were at 20 PSI. We're now at 33 PSI. That's still faster than if you were to be doing it with a manual bicycle pump right and if you're the intent of this is to top off your tire or to be used in an emergency situation so if it's still a little bit slower than the big shop compressor is that an issue i mean you're broke up down on the side of the highway because you've got a nail in your tire you get it plugged you can air it back up and you're still back on the road probably faster than if you wait for someone to come and rescue you. I think I think it's a winner winner. All right, we need to go to the patio. We have reached the end of this blowing things up edition of Friday's Finds. I gotta tell you, I, I'm I'm very pleased with all of these products. A little air compressor gets the job done, don't be in a hurry, but it's an emergency backup more than it is anything else. The big air compressor, that really gets the job done and it gets the job done in a hurry. And I'll be keeping that in the RV 
for those occasions where I've got to air up those big tires. The tent, man, I, I, I love that tent. I really like the first design and this, the updated version, that's just, that's just, that's too cool. You've got a tent and a, and a, your mattress all in one. You don't have to carry multiple different things. I like that. What else do we have? Oh yeah, the inflatable tool. Man, that was a, that's a back saver. I am so glad that I invested in that. Now I can blow up my pontoon boat and my inflatable tent and I've got a couple of air mattresses. So that's, that's something that I was long overdue in adding to my camping kit. I'm so glad I have that. All of these items can be found on Amazon. The link will be in the card as well as in the description. That link will take you to a shop that the fright that will take you to the Fridays finds a shopping list on my Amazon influencer page, Dude RV's Gear Recommendations. And that brings us to the end, my friend. I want to give a special shout out of thanks to all of the vendors who sponsored this edition, this blowing things up edition of Friday's Finds. And if you're still with me at this point, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to hang out with me and explore some cool products. If you've not already, I would be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have already hit that button, thank you, I am most honored. So I get to do what I do. If it wasn't for you, I don't know what I would be. I'd be homeless living on the street. No, just kidding. I don't know what I'd be doing for my patrons. I am most honored and grateful. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?